Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're going to be checking out Final Boss Dairy Area Monspy on Global, and we're going to be using the all human team of Lilia, the One Escanor, Excalibur Arthur, and Death Pierce. And also, halfway through this video, we'll also try our Purgatory Barn team as well. Uh, these are the multipliers that we have on. So, the clear without using Zeldris, clear within seven turns, and clear without using ultimate moves as well. Um, and then, also on top of that, we're going to try and complete the missions. Um, uh, clear without anybody dying, inflict over 450,000 damage and a single attack against one enemy, clear with only human heroes in the team, and clear after using stance skills at least four times as well. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to give this fight uh, a little bit of a go. I remember this one being quite straightforward on the KR version. Um, and again, I think there is a chance that Purgatory Barn and like Twiggo Backline might actually be a little bit better because we didn't have Purgatory Barn... Um, uh, when this fight dropped on the Korean version. Uh, so yeah, uh, one of the main things you want to draw is like four stance cards on Arthur. So getting an additional one at the start is a really nice time there. Uh, so I think what we'll do is actually like just chuck this off and go for like a second stance card as well. Because it, it doesn't really matter because the damage isn't like massive in this fight. Plus we got the healing from um, uh, Lilia as well. So, just want to, like, <laughs> dump those cards. You can use them periodically, but I wanted to wait for, like, Escanor's, um passive to build up a little bit uh, before we start, like, bonking in those cards. So, I think we'll uh, we'll go for this. Um, it's not really a huge amount of value off the drain, but we might as well use it anyway, because I think Monspeed's um, commandment is screwing him over a little bit there. And also, like, attacking into Arthur's stance. Like, there isn't uh, <laughs> a whole lot to drain in this fight. Let's see if we get points for draining, actually. Yeah, it's still like 30 points for draining. Uh, so it's alright, it's not too bad. We can easily cleave Derriere down now with this Arthur card and probably push phase next turn if we want it. Um, yeah, I think I think we've got plenty of damage here. Plus we've got an, an alright hand heading into the, um, the next phase as well. But we need like two more Arthur. Oh yeah, Monspeed deletes cards. I forgot about that for a sec. Okay, right, let's chuck off the Arthur Cleave here. Let's go for this. Um, yeah, there's no way I can, like, reorder that, <laughs> which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, we're at the peak of Escanor's passive, right? We should be able to bonk here, man. I think if we go for the stance card as well, it should be good. As, lo as long as we get the crit on Monspeed here, I'm pretty sure he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, nice, dude. Uh, that's a pretty good bronze card there. And also dealing over 150k gives you 100 additional points. Um, so yeah, those Escanor cards are pretty fantastic as well. We need one more stance card on Arthur. We got it. Fantastic. Um, and then Derriere, I think... Does she, like, lock out skills when she transforms? Yeah, that's the one. Demolish. That's a really, really annoying card in this fight. This one, which she uses uh, literally like first turn. So I think we're going to see if we can kill her here. Um, just to make this like a lot quicker. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, she'll like lock out everything but the Arthur Stance cards. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to kill her first turn, actually. So we got to wait until... Um, what was it? This passes now, and then kind of like line up a game-winning play to just burst her down and get Monspy down. That is not too bad. Don't really want to like draw uh, Arthur's ult. That's a bit unfortunate, but it, it, it is what it is. I think just for like the sake of max draw, um, we'll go for... We'll dump this, dump this, and uh, dump this as well. Okay, just using the cards actually is really good because we actually don't gain ult gauge here. I think we got Monspeed's Commandment in play. Hmm. And then next turn, I think I'm just going to burn. Do I want to burn or merge? I don't think I want to merge because I don't want like the additional ult gauge. So I think I want to burn this. I want to get the merger on the Escanor card. And then if we can draw, like, another Escanor card or Arthur card. Because, again, we still can't use anything apart from stance cards, which uh, kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we draw into here. And then we've got to figure out, like, if we can get them both down in one turn. We're on turn uh, six here. 
So yeah, you need some pretty good RNG in the stars to align a little bit if you want that uh, really good score with getting everything um, done in one. But I think let's go for... As long as we get the crit here, and we should get the crit, then we will be in a good spot. And I think we want that mon speed here. As long as we get the crit. We're at full passive here now, man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Please get Derry down. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Come on, Escanor. You got this, bro. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. That was actually a pretty good crit. I think also if you do get the um, uh, the golden merger, just looking at like the damage levels, you can hit that... Uh, what is it? A uh, deal over 450k? Because that was that was a silver dude. That was like uh, over 300. So yeah, I think a gold would, um, uh, with attack food, just have enough damage to actually meet that criteria, which kind of like pushes the scoring up uh, at least like another few hundred. So yeah, that's really really interesting. But let's see where that initial score um, uh, places us on the leaderboard a few minutes after release. Uh, so yeah, we are, we're currently, uh, apparently number two, uh, which is, again, <laughs> not bad. Uh, I was speculating that I think Purgatory Barn is gonna be, like, the number one scoring champion, and everybody so far is using Purgatory Barn. I'm not too sure if, like, the actual number one, uh, because it hasn't, um, uh, updated yet, because I'm still silver, yet yeah, I'm, I've got more points than gold. Uh, so yeah, we'll try, like, a Purgatory Barn team now. Um, I don't really think, like, Lily is, like, doing that much in this fight, <laughs> in all fairness. So maybe if we, like, bring in Barn, and then we get, like, a uh, Twigo backline. Alright, so we changed around the team. We got Purgatory Barn, the one Escanor, Excalibur Arthur, and Twigo here. Uh, so yeah, we just need a little bit of luck with the Purgatory Barn cards, and also the, um... Uh, stance cards as well um, and we're using the same multipliers as last time so we're not trying to use ultimate moves here so we can get like a 20% additional point bonus uh, but let's have a bit of a look at our opening draw here okay that's actually a really really nice merger on the um uh, the barn cards and I'm uh <laughs> I'm losing my voice a bit here man uh do we just like send it first turn hmm Maybe we, like, wait a little bit, man, see if we can get, like, uh, an additional merger. Because, yeah, we ideally want to use them in combo a little bit. Um, or maybe use them to, like, one-shot the final phase so we don't need to deal with the, um, uh, the waiting period. I think might be a bit of a shout. So we'll go for the Arthur Stance card here. And if we could just draw, like, the, the filthiest combo of barn cards, <laughs> so we can get, like, a silver buff, like, a golden swipe. Okay, that's what we needed, dude. That's looking pretty good. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Um, that is actually crazy, man. Well, we don't have the, uh, stance cards. We can probably, like, bulldoze the first phase here, though. Hmm. Do we just want to go for it? That that gold card's going to be so much damage. It's going to be ridiculous. Hmm. I'm unsure how to play this one, but we still need the stance cards if we want big points. So I'm thinking like we move over to the second phase, and then we got a couple of turns to uh, draw them. And then uh, <laughs> we'll like bonk him with Escanor as well. But yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be so much that it might just one-shot the both of them. Uh, <laughs> damn, dude. Barn is going off there. We also got 200 points from that as well. So yeah, that was perfect. I'm actually full-on losing my voice here, boys. I do apologize. It's going, like, uh, really, really husky. Right, let's go. Final phase. Hmm... I mean, it would be great if we could just, like, murder everybody here. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. What turn are we on? We're on turn three, dude. Okay, that's that's not many turns at all. Okay, Monspy is just getting whipped here, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he seems like he's taking a lot more damage in comparison to Derriere. Oh, we almost one-shot it, dude. Yeah, if we wait a little bit longer. But I was hoping we could get into this phase and draw stance cards. Uh, but we haven't drawn, like, 
Uh, yeah, any. <laughs> so that, that kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. I just need to, like, maximize draw here. So I know this play, like, seems already stupid. But I'm literally just, like, dumping all the cards. Oh, my God. What is this draw, dude? Uh, but yeah, you basically need, like, a run like this. But where you draw enough, um... Enough stance cards, man. That is that is it. That is it. Okay, I think we we go to finish on the golden uh, <laughs> golden card. But uh, yeah, that's so annoying, dude. That's and because we haven't drawn stance cards, we couldn't drain Derriere. Uh So that is uh, a mild pain in the ass. And then as soon as I draw stance cards, I get stance disabled. So that sucked. Uh, Sucked massive eggs, boys. Uh, <laughs> not too happy about that one. Uh, but it is what it is, what it is man. It is what it is. Yeah, we just... Uh, we got lucky. We got so lucky. We got, like, beyond lucky on the damage cards. Uh, <laughs> but we just couldn't draw any stance ones. So th this run, man, is going to be massively, massively gimped. Uh, but still, we got 5,000 points from that one. So if we had, like, gone that level of RNG and drawn, like, the uh, the three stance cards within the um, uh, the fight as well, uh, that would have been, like, a 5.4, maybe even with, like, certain additional variants as well. Uh, like a 5... If you're, like, super lucky, maybe you've got, like, a golden Escanor card first phase... A crit monspy. <laughs> I don't know if you can still do it with this setup and team, but yeah, maybe something around like uh, 6k is is possible. Uh, but yeah, I definitely see how this person got um, uh, 5.4 there. Uh, I think you know with the right RNG, uh, definitely possible to get like well over 5k. But I think like 5.6 to 6 is maybe like the upper limit of this team. Um, but yeah, you know, there's there's lots of randomness and lots of uh, fun on these uh, these final bosses for sure. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy uh, today's final boss dairy area on speed uh, video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.